Hi students, today we are going to see the extensor expansion. So it will be asked as a short notes and first is the site where it is present, second is the shape and then if the shape is triangular definitely you should write the apex base and the borders. Okay, so now we will start first let us have a look of the extensor retinacula. Okay, this is the extensor retinacula, sorry extensor expansion. See first thing it is present where it is present it is a triangular expansion of extensor tendons so all the extensor tendons will be coming to the fingers so in the uh, expands it's expanded it's getting expanded understand so it is triangular in shape understand the base is present where it is uh, situated it is situated in the metacarpophalangeal joint or else you can write the proximal phalanx you can write metacarpophalangeal joint start with the proximal phalanx so the base is present in the proximal phalanx and uh, apex apex goes to okay, you can see that the apex one central slip is going up and then you can see two lateral slips are going up okay so one central slip it is divided into one central slip and two lateral slips so the central slip is going to the middle phalanx and the two lateral slips are going towards the distal phalanx and then getting inserted fused and getting inserted into the distal phalanx so number one base is present in the proximal phalanx and the apex it stops here the entire uh, expansion is present in the proximal phalanx but the central tendon from the apex goes to the middle phalanx and both the sides the lateral bands goes to the distal phalanx finished and then both the sides it is getting thickened and it is strengthened by the attachment of the intraoshi muscles and the lumbrical muscles already you know intraoshi dorsal intraoshi palmar intraoshi and lumbricals everything is getting inserted here that's why see look at the borders both the sides it is getting thickened and then now what will happen what is the application clinical application so all the extensor tendons they form this is triangular in shape that's what we have written here okay the site it is at the level of metacarpophalangeal joint triangular in shape and proximal it receives the tendons of uh, base it is present in the proximal phalanx and receives the tendons of uh, introshi and lumbricals and the apex apex only divides into a central slip and two lateral bands i have showed central slip where it goes and the two lateral slips where it goes we have read and then its extra point is trans and oblique retinacular ligaments which connects the flexor tendons to the extensor expansion it means from the front from the front front side this is the front okay this is the extensor expansion is present here it goes and connects the flexor tendons which is going at the back so it will go the transverse and oblique ligaments will go and con connect the flexor tendons with the extensor expansion understand margins of the extensor expansion is getting thickened with the tendons of lumbricals and introshi that we have seen then injury injury is very important division of the extensor expansion at the distal phalanx if it is distal phalanx if it is affected what will happen distal phalanx we are not able to extend so it will be flexed so this type of finger can understand this type of finger so the distal phalanx i'm not able to extend so it is flexed because extension tendon is cut over the distal phalanx so what happened it is flexed this is called as mallet finger the central slip if the central slip is attached to the middle phalanx so if it is cut what will happen that deformity is called buttonet deformity because the middle phalanx this is the middle phalanx area the middle phalanx we are not able to extend it so it will be flexed okay that is called as buttonet deformity and then third important deformity is hyper extension of the proximal interphalangeal joint and flexion as the distal this is also like mallet finger this is called as swan neck deformity both are same swan neck deformity the names are different because it is present uh, you can see this in the rheumatoid arthritis you can see the bands also okay retinocular bands can you see that okay oblique retinocular band and the transverse bands the tra transverse and the oblique bands they what, what's the function of that they will keep the flexor fibrous tendons with the extensor expansion which is present at the back so that's all about the extensor expansion very important short note basically it is expanded portion of all the extensor tendons you keep it in mind thank you